All right, I am outside this uh, apartment complex and just wanna give you a feel for the area. There is a Jack in the Box and a Taco Bell right there, which never hurts. Um, but you're right next to 12th, which is a, I shouldn't say right next, it's a block away from 12th. Relatively busy road, but access is great. I mean, you can take uh, 12th a few blocks to the north and be in downtown Nampa and there's tons of shops and uh, restaurants and all that kind of stuff down there. Um, but beyond that, if you go a little bit to the east, it's pretty quiet. It's generally residential neighborhoods uh, right next to NNU. And so a lot of these single family homes are rentals. Um, this neighborhood has, has a mix between stuff that's really well kept and cool and stuff that has obviously been rentals and neglected for a while. So it's, it's a mix like you see a lot in a lot of kind of uh, college areas. But anyhow, that being said, uh, the townhouses are, or the apartments are right here. They have a little sign out front for the Colorado townhouses. Um, it looks like there's been asphalt repairs. This doesn't look like it's brand new asphalt. Um, all of the roofs do look pretty new here. Um, I just did a quick walk by and I didn't see any, I didn't see any obvious graffiti or anything on the buildings. Um, it doesn't look like exterior paint has been done recently on these. I don't see any obvious damage to the paint, um, but it could use could use a little bit of attention in the exterior. Um, looks like they have a little spot for landscaping stuff right there. Uh, these buildings in the back, it looks like they all have uh, window ACs rather than central, which makes sense for this type of build. Yeah, I can see some some spots on this one back here where there's some chipped paint and stuff on the exterior. So that's something I would take into consideration that these probably are gonna need some exterior paint sooner than later. Um, not a lot of outdoor space. You can see there's a little bit of grassy space here. It looks like it, I don't wanna go in the backs right now, uh, but it looks like there's not much space in the back. Everybody's got a little patio and maybe 12 feet or so for the fence. Um, second building in the back here. They generally look pretty well kept though. I mean, I, there's no, I don't see any junky cars out here. I don't see any obvious damage or neglect. Um, I would say that it's pretty appropriate for the age of the buildings and the area that what, what I'm seeing here. I can't tell from out here which one has been renovated other than the fact that this one and this back one, they all look like they have newer window units. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming maybe that was part of the renovation, but I can't tell which is which. Um, and then just, I'll give you a peek down to the east here because the Northwest Nazarene University is like two blocks down the road here. So just give you a feel for that and the area. You can see there's another little grassy area along the road here. And so just looking east down Colorado, um, you can see there's well, you probably can't see in here. There's a little stop sign at that intersection right there. And essentially where that truck is, is where the university starts. So it's really close. I mean, a block and a half or so. Um, there's another small multi right next door here. It looks like this is a little six unit building. Um, right on the other side, just over the, the roofs here, there's another small complex with five or six fourplexes as well. So a lot of a lot of multis that are about the same age in this neighborhood. Um, looks like there's a an older home there that's been converted into a couple apartments. Single family home right across the street. Um, so yeah, uh, just to give you a feel for the area. I mean, there, I wouldn't consider this a dangerous area or anything like that. I would be fine walking my kids around after dark or anything like that. There's not really a dangerous area. Uh, in our valley, but I mean, th this is this is probably like I guess I would consider this like a, a C plus kind of area when it comes to what you see in in the Boise metro market. So um, definitely on the lower end, but uh, I think with the school nearby and being close to downtown and stuff, it's kind of a, a a nice mix as far as the geography and and what I'm seeing here. So anyhow, just super highlights there. Let me know if you have questions.